This video will present a novel surgical technique for the reconstruction of a chronic proximal hamstring tear. Here we see the schematic of our overview of the surgical technique. Of note, we will be focusing mainly on the bony portion of the procedure with the allograft already having been passed through the hamstring in a pulver taft weave method. We begin by planning out the location of our five anchor locations three distal and two proximal. We then prepare the sites using a drill and normal bone anchor technique. We begin with the distal most location. As you can see we try for good spread along the entire bony surface of the ischium. Here you can see the placement of our first anchor, our second anchor, and our third anchor, all of our three distal anchors placed. Here's our representation of our allograft with the three number five fiber wire sutures with their six limbs and its placement on the ischium. With the graft held in location to confirm appropriate suture placement, the sutures of the Q-fix anchors are then threaded through the proximal aspect of the graft. Keep in mind good spread and suture placement in order to maximize coverage over the ischium. Throughout this portion, we double check ourselves to make sure that our sutures are well spread. The anchors used in this technique each have four limbs, which provided six points of double limb fixation at the proximal aspect of the graft. With all of our sutures passed through the graft, we see that we have nice coverage of the ischium. We would be remiss if we didn't mention that good suture management is key to this procedure. You can see here that the graft should easily zip line back and forth along the sutures. The six limbs of the three fiber wire sutures are div divided into a medial and a lateral group. They are then fed through the of note. It is useful to tie a knot in the passing suture in order to pass these not as one group. The medial and the lateral group of fiber wire sutures are then passed through the bone anchors. Here you can see at this stage we have all of our suture in place and there is a significant amount in the field. So again, good suture management is of the utmost importance. We ensure that our graft lies where we want it on the ischium. And this is where our final two bone anchors will be placed. The bone is then prepared for anchor insertion. The sutures are appropriately tensioned with the graft laying flush with the ischium. When we are happy with our tensioning, the anchor is then secured into the bone. The medial fiber wires are then attached in the same fashion. Once the proximal fixation is secured, the distal six limbs from the Q-fix anchors are then tied and secured, completing the fixation for the repair.